Happy Friday! It's July 27th, the last Friday in July. Today we're coming to you live from the eastern side of Glacier National Park, which is in the background behind me. You can see Sai off to uh, over my left shoulder there with some snow patches on it still. It's been a beautiful and stormy day here on the east side. We've actually had some significant amounts of rain, which is fantastic as our fire danger rating has been upgraded to very high by the Park Service this week. So please uh, keep that in mind and put any flame that you're using, make sure it's all the way out before you move on to your adventures. Speaking of adventures, let's get to that Rivers, Roads, and Trails report. The Rivers, uh, the Middle Fork is running at about 1,820 CFS today. That's 2.8 feet. For comparison, the median flows this time of year are typically about 2,100 CFS. The North Fork is running a quite a bit lower at 1,500 CFS, which is 2.75 feet. Median flows in the North Fork are typically about 2,400 this time of year. It's predicted to be another hot and sunny week here on the west side, so you know that we'll be out on the rivers getting that last little bit of July river magic in. Uh, the rivers dropped, but the rapids are running at a steady class two, which makes the Middle Fork a perfect splashy adventure for almost all ages at this point, really family friendly. If you'd like to go, just give our office a call and we'll figure out if you've got the right ages in your group. Um, the fishing report, this is hot and sunny weather. Hopper season is here, which for a lot of fishermen is their favorite time of the year. Fish are really starting to slurp up on those foam bugs. You can tie a dropper off the back or a smaller dry fly or just fish it solo, but the fishing's pretty good on all the different stretches of the rivers right now. Um, and the water is warming up, so be careful with your picture taking. Make sure you get those fish back in the water, get them back home before they get too hot. Pinch your barbs, help keep our fish looking pretty and do some good fishing out there. Uh, looking at the roads, everything is open except of course for that closure that's been in place for a long time on the inside North Fork Road. And there's also that road construction going on at Bowman Lake on Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays. The morning road closure is from 9.30 to 12 and the afternoon closure is from 12.30 to 3. Keeping in mind east side adventures, if you're heading over from the west side, you should probably know that there's ongoing road construction that's really tying things up on Looking Glass and Highway 49 and at Kiowa Junction. So we're suggesting Star School Road if you're heading to Cut Bank and uh, the Duck Lake Road if you're heading to the Mini Glacier area. So looking at the trails, everything's melted out for the most part. Uh, goat hunt's looking good. Everything there is clear with the exception of Waterton Lake Trail to Cameron Lake on the North Boundary Trail. That is a projected clearing date of August 10th. In Lake McDonald, we have our ongoing closures on the Snyder Lake Trail and the Lincoln Lake Trail, um, and also that Sperry Chalet closure with the construction. We do have a detailed Sperry update. We went up there last weekend. Actually, I did. And if you'd like to read it, you can sign up for the emailed version of the Rivers, Roads, and Trails report. That's Courtney at GlacierGuides.com. Everything else in the Lake McDonald area is looking pretty good. In Mini Glacier, we've got a number of trails that are posted for bear frequenting, which is not unusual for this time of year as the huckleberries start to come in. Grinnell Glacier Trail is posted in places as is Swift Current Pass, Cracker Lake, Iceberg Ptarmigan as well. If you're thinking about doing Pegan Pass from the Mini Glacier Hotel side or coming down to the Mini Glacier Hotel from the pass, do be aware that there's a lot of avalanche debris and snow that's covering the trail for about a quarter mile below. Morning Eagle Falls, you will need some route finding skills in there. In the Logan Pass area, the Hidden Lake Trail closure from the overlook to the lake and the surrounding shoreline is ongoing as bears are continuing to feed on spawning fish. That trail is also posted from the trailhead to the lake for bear frequenting. Uh, you're not going to want uh, good shoes still. There's plenty of snow up there and trekking poles if you're doing Hidden Lake, which is such a fun, fun place to go. In St. Mary, we still have that undercut steep snow field at the Pegan Pass trailhead on the going to the Sun Road side of Pegan. There's a little bit of snow lingering up on Sai Pass. Again, trekking poles are considered helpful. In the Two Medicine area, we have those bridges still out around uh, Old Man Lake on the Pitamakan Pass Trail, so just use caution if you're going to ford those streams. In Highway 2, we still have that Railroad Creek Bridge um, that is a bit pre pre precarious, so keep that in mind if you're heading out to the uh, Summit and Autumn Creek Trails. And um, that's about it really for the trails. We do have uh, in the North Fork, the Numa Lookout Trail is posted for a bear frequenting, and there is a bridge crossing that's out on the um, Akakola Lake Trail. So uh, we've got more details on that again in the emailed version of this report. Trail crew cleared all those trees that were down on the Quartz Lake Loop. So shout out to the trail crew. Thank you all for being awesome. That's fantastic. If you're going backpacking, uh, Snyder and Lincoln Lakes are closed this summer. Sperry Campground is still temporarily closed. The uh, campgrounds at Brown Pass and at the Hole in the Wall way up there in the North Country, those are both posted for bear frequenting. So you know, have your spray and know how to use it, particularly for backpacking. The campgrounds, all of them are open. They were all full yesterday, except for Bowman, Cutbank, Quartz, and Logging. So check out that campground page if you're thinking about doing a little car camping this weekend. 
And uh, the weather's looking great. It's a little bit cooler tomorrow uh, on Saturday than it has been, but then we're looking at the hottest weather of the whole summer uh, starting on Sunday. So definitely stay hydrated, wear your sunscreen, buy a big fabulous hat, and if you'd like to get that detailed version, be sure to shoot me an email, Courtney at GlacierGuides.com. Have a great weekend, and we'll see you all out there.